everyone, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable chalkboard calendar for Halloween. We're going to start with an unfinished wooden frame. I'm using a square shape for this one. I've taken out the center, and now it needs to be painted in an acrylic black. And you can just use, I'm using Craft Smart acrylic black paint and a foam brush. You want to get two good coats on it and let that dry. So I'm going to set this one over to the side because through the magic of television, I now have one that's completed. So now we're going to turn it face down and I'm going to staple some metal lath on it. Now let me just show you how this comes. This is metal lath. You can find it at your hardware store in the concrete section. So when you're talking to them about it, just say you're looking for lath that's made for expansion and contraction when pouring cement. Okay, so I cut it with a pair of wire cutters to the size of the opening of my frame. So I'm going to sit it there, and now I'm going to staple it on. I want you to make sure that when you're putting this on, that you leave room for this little hole that's right here, because this little pin that comes with your frame is made for an easel. That way it'll stand up for us. So I'm just going to staple that on, okay, all right, so now I'm going to just put my little pin in so that we can see what direction we need this to go. Now I'm going to take some spider webbing and I'm just going to web the back side of our frame and I'm just using the little sharp edges you know, that we cut off with our tin snips to hold that webbing on. Okay, so here's our webbing and we've got it on there, an easel, just like that. So now real quick, I want to use our Sissix Big Kick machine to cut out some letters so that we can spell October. So I'm using Tim Holtz Wordplay is our font. I've got my two plates here. I'm going to lay one down. I'm going to put my plate on there. I'm going to take some orange cardstock, put it over the entire piece here. I'm using the entire piece for this because I'm doing so many letters that it's really hard to do piece after piece, but I can save the other letters and use them for another project down the road. Okay, put my other acrylic piece over the top. We call this a Sissix sandwich. I'm going to stick it right in here and then just use my handle here to run it through. Okay, so now we have all of these letters. Look how easy those come out, okay? So I'm going to sit that over to the side. I have my letters pulled out here. So I'm going to pull this easel out, this is pin, just so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm using just some clear tacky gel. You know what, for you, I'm gonna leave this in because I want you to be able to really see what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna start using some glue and putting the word or the letters for October. So what we're doing here is we're making a little calendar. I don't know, when I was a kid, I loved counting down the holidays and so, you know, anytime I used to make those, I don't know if you remember those little rings where you attach the rings together and you cut them off every day until Christmas. Those were so fun. I loved running over and cutting or tearing those off. And I had just as much fun actually making those. So I guess I've been a crafter all my life. Um, I've got pictures when I was just a little girl and I always had a hammer and nails and uh, crafty things with me. Okay, so I have spelled October here. Now, let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so if you notice on this frame, I took two little craft cuts, um, just little wooden pieces. I painted them in Craft Smart Gray, let those dry, and I'm using these for a tombstone look. So I'm just going to take a Sharpie, here's my Sharpie, and I'm just going to write R-I-O-T-O-B-E-R. 
P. Oh, that's scary. And then I'm going to put a 31. And this is just a Sharpie. And then I'm going to take a glue gun. And I'm going to glue my RIP on right here. You've got to love a glue gun because it's so fast and dries nice and quick. Okay. Now I'm taking a little piece of cardstock here. You don't have to do this. You could just glue this right on and it would be just fine. But I'm going to take a little piece of cardstock and make a trifold here. That is going to elevate my tombstone. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. That is to attach my cardstock. And then I'm going to take a little glue on that and attach it right to the edge. And I love how I love how it pops out. Sorry, I missed a little section there. I love how it pops off of the frame. Okay, all the little glue strings you get off of there. Okay, then I have a cute little spider ring and I just cut the little bottom of the spider ring off. I'm gonna put my little spider on. He's so cute. And he looks like he's climbing up to the web. And then for last but not least, I'm taking a little bulldog clip. I'm gonna put it right on the edge. And then I took one more craft cut, spray painted it in chalkboard spray paint. I'm using orange chalk. What I love about this is, so today is October 1st. We put October 1st on there, wipe it off, second, third, fourth, all the way to Halloween, and it's made, it, it makes an awesome kid-friendly calendar. So now we can just hook that right onto our clip. Every day they can unclip it, change the date, and put it back on there. I promise you, that your kids will be running to this calendar to, to change out the date. If you love this project, please go to divaofdiy.com for a complete supply list to this and so many more fall and Halloween projects. I've enjoyed spending time with you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.